18 months ago, Seco moved to this new facility here in Alster, and today we're here at their latest event, Innovation Through Inspiration. So Stuart, here we got the Bartac i100 or the i100 Bartac Integrex machine. Can you tell me about it? Yes, it's uh, it's our smallest of our Integrex type machines um, with the Bartac system uh, you can put onto here, which takes up to 104 mil diameter, or fed through. Um, and on this particular type of machine, we've got full five axis capability with a second spindle, lower turret. So you've got 104 bar capacity. Yes. What, not on the not on this 100, have you? Yes, on this 100. Yeah, we've got a five-jaw chuck here with 104 through spindle on here, so you can bar feed 104 mil diameter through here. So for a small machine, that is a, a big bar diameter. It is, yes, yeah. That's that's that, that's the, the the beauty of the the bar tack system. Yeah. So essentially, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, well, if I hadn't got much floor space, but I wanted a big bar capacity with a multitasking machine, the i100 would be perfect. It would, yes, yeah, yeah. So production from start to finish, you've got the main spindle, you've got the sub spindle, you've got a turret at the bottom, and then we've got a B-axis head. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Full five-axis capability on the on the on the main spindle. Yeah. And how has the show been? It's been busy. Yeah, been a lot of people walking through. Very interested. Yeah. Inspiration through innovation. Tell me about the show. Yes, the show, we, we chose the term inspiration through innovation because we wanted to capture the innovative part of this, this show. We have 16 exhibitors or partners uh, exhibiting here and we wanted them to focus on the, the innovative part of their business. And part of the show is to also bring a collaborative environment together where our customers can come and see all aspects of the machining process from machine tool to CAD CAM to work holding to the cutting tools that we provide. And has it been a success? It's been a fantastic success. We've had a, we had a great two days. We've had, uh, I think, the biggest footfall we've ever had in one of the events that we've held in this new facility. So we're, we're very pleased with the uh, success of the event. And we've been here all day today, and I have to say, there's some fantastic highlights, but one happens to be the table tennis table. Yes, Tell absolutely. We, we've got some, some, we want to make this a, a fun place for our staff to be. We've not only got a table tennis table, we've also got a gym that's open to our staff, and we also offer free fruit and free coffee. It's about having fun at work, isn't it? And about enjoying the environment and, and really being inspired about the place you work for. So, so where do I put my CV? <laughs> absolutely, just, just drop it into our HR department. <laughs> Can you tell us about some of the new innovations and products we can see here at the show? Yeah, during this event we mainly concentrate on the, the, the new steady line tooling which we, we have now, which, which offers us the possibility for vibration free cutting. Mm -hmm. And uh, another part we concentrate on a lot is uh, what we call jet stream tooling, where we can apply the, the advantages of high pressure cooling in, in a more effective way than we could before. And is that turning or milling or both? Uh, Jetstream for the moment is for turning applications only while the, the steady line solution, the, the vibration free solution we have is both for turning and milling. And the seminars that you have here, are they focused on those products or strategies of machining as well? Yeah, the seminars we have mainly focus on, on the background of that type of tooling because it's rather sophisticated tooling and 
having a good usage of it also means that people have to understand how, how both of the things work and that's what we explained during the presentations and the technical and technological background to it. And I notice the seminars have been very popular. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's something we noticed for years already that, that our customers, people in metal cutting, uh, they want to learn about how things are functioning and, and so on. And it's something we offer to our customers and it's, it's ever increasing popular with, with customers. So Carl, we've got a Doosan Lynx 220 LSY. Can you tell us about this machine? Yeah, this is introducing the Y-axis to our Lynx range which we've got available in 51 and 65 bar capacity and we've got plus or minus 52 mil in y-axis travel so including the sub spindle on this model so who would buy this type of machine there's a wide range of people buying this machine we're seeing a lot of subcontractors going to this style of machine for increasing uh, batch machining so they've got done in one machining so whereas before you might have had a machining centre and a, and a Lynx 220 or a 210 from, uh, from before and you'd have done the turning on the Lynx and then the milling on the machining centre, now you can do it all on here? Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, in decreasing stock levels needed. So it's um, smaller lead times and short setup times respectively. So Mills CNC having a good show? The event been good for you? Yeah, it's been really busy so far. Really good to see our partners here. It's working well for everyone. So Gareth, what's Tame got on show here this week at Seaco? Paul, we have the InnoFlex 4 dual compensating chuck, first seen at Mac. When you say compensating chuck, so whatever the uh, irregularity in the shape? We can throw almost any workpiece at it and it will clamp it and centre it. Uh, we've had a really good response since Mac, we've sold several of them already. Good, good. And this? Uh, is this your... is a Tame quick jaw change system. Uh, will fit practically any three jaw chuck and makes jaw change over as quick as that. So they're soft jaws, you'd machine the profile out of those and then there's a quick change. You, you would machine a diameter in there and leave them set to that diameter and it makes it very easy and quick to change over between components. And then next to it we have, that looks to me very much like a bar puller. And that's our tame bar puller, yeah, turret mounted, uh, the jaws are sprung loaded so they Click over, over your bar, pull it back through the... So would you use that instead of a bar feed or in you, conjunction with... Yeah, you could use it instead of a bar feed. Main benefit is you've not got a three metre length behind the machine, uh, so space saver. And then we move on to one of your... Uh, this is a very popular product, the Lang system. Yeah, the Lang voice system. Yeah, very popular product for Tame. Who would, who would buy one of these? Any, any workshop, it's, there's, there's nobody that wouldn't really have a use for it. Uh, predominantly five axis users is where we've uh, or where the product's aimed at, uh, but customers with three axis machines and fourth axis units are it's equally as popular for. And you had a good show? Fantastic show, yeah, lots of interest, lots of visitors. Seeker have done a really good job.